Hi, good morning and welcome to today's products in focus. Um, US 30 is trading below uh, potential support at 17.075, uh, posting a little bit of a negative candle there yesterday. Um, obviously when you're at multi-year highs and hitting first all-time highs at the SPX 500 and the Dow has been doing incredibly well as well, that's not massively surprising. So we're dropping down, potentially down to this uh, kind of trend line. Um, and a lot of other European markets are just slowly grinding lower apart from Japan 225 that continues to go great guns this morning um, I'm not entirely quite sure why it's moving so much today there's not been um, any Chinese uh, uh, sorry Japanese related data out today um, and dollar yen's not going through some significant moves but uh, it has uh, broken out, out of some of the other um, indice markets uh, we'll, we'll have a look at that in just a second so things may potentially can a little bit top heavy here he heading into the weekend so looking at the UK 100, it should be getting a little bit of a boost today. Uh, RBS is up uh, about 15%. Uh, they've reported their earnings a week early, um, made about 2.8 billion, I think, um, which is far beyond expectations. It's also helping to pull up some, some of the other uh, UK banking stocks uh, and obviously helping the UK 100 ever so slightly. A fair amount of volatility on the UK 100 right there. Um, as you can see, we've bounced off uh, potential support at 6774 uh, yesterday. Um, and uh, you know, tipsy's candles are indicative of the volatility that we saw, and uh, we're actually trading above that 55 period SMA right now, whereas most other technical indicators are still quite neutral, indicating that should the markets continue to have good fundamentals, there's extra room for maneuver for the UK 100. Um, in fact, looking at that RBS chart, just to bring it back up here, um, this gives you a bit of an idea of the movement that we've seen. Um, you can see here the big gap to the upside. We've actually been as high as uh, ten, if I just draw that on there a little more accurately, you can see that we're in about three seven nine as the short-term potential resistance. And uh, you know we already hit it this morning. We've moved back down, and we're, we're trying to maybe move up a little bit higher as well. So RBS I expect will be very much in focus for the next couple of days. So looking at Japan to the five, uh, we talked about that that big move to the upside potential resistance fifteen four eight eight. We've talked about it a lot, um, and I probably can just uh, get around to redrawing that symmetrical triangle formation maybe uh, I might be reaching there ever so slightly um, but uh, it's nevertheless looking a little bit more bullish than before uh, we've not broken and closed above uh, 1548 for a while so uh, keep your eye on that one Japan 225 um, looking very interesting and um, looking at uh, US dollar Japanese yen um, it's also had a good session yesterday it's paused for breath today hitting the 55 period SMA we're still looking like we've got the slow grind higher, but we might be slowly building a, cons a consolidation base around about 101 spot 35. Um, and you just got the slow kind of curve right here. So we're still making a series of lower highs, don't get me wrong, but um, you know, dollar yen's been on the slow decline for so long. Uh, maybe it might get a chance to shine at some point. Um, but with US interest rates still a major focus of conversation, uh, dollar yen will always be of interest to FX traders. So um, I want to have a look at um, a crude oil with Texas. It's bounced around 103 to 105 a lot last couple of sessions. And um, if I just switch that around to a 30 minute interval, um, you can get a chance to see it goes up and then goes down, goes up and then goes down. Um, those levels should be in play over the next couple of sessions. And a lot of traders should be looking at crude oil with Texas a lot um, over the next, uh, next, next week and today and next week. So looking at gold there as well, gold's broken below um, potential support at 12.95, uh, also bouncing around the 55 period SMA. Next potential support is at 12.67, uh, and there is certainly a little bit of weakness on there as well. So euro dollar um, not breaking below one spot 34.55 yet. It's had it bounced off there three times the last, uh, you know, four times in fact. You had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and again today. Question mark is it going to happen today? Um, it is flattening out at that level, so a lot of traders will be looking at one spot 34.55. Finish up the cable. It finally broke its uh, major support levels yesterday. It actually broke through not one but two. And it's on the wrong side of one spot 70, pretty much. Next potential level is one spot 69.23. Uh, GBP USD very much uh, should be looked at by a lot of FX traders. Um, and one thing I just want to quickly show you was client sentiment uh, for the UK 100. Um, we are seeing that we've got almost like a 50. 50-50 split between number of clients, but you can see here by the position value, 67% net sellers, uh, and that's uh, even more interesting by the fact that we're slowly grinding up that level bit higher. So um, do you always get a chance to check out the client sentiment as well? That's quite an interesting feature. Look at the chart forum as ever, make insights part of your layer, and get a chance to join me again uh, on Monday to find out what happened next.